Welcome to History Bite. Today, we'll be talking about the Chadian Civil War. Before we hop into that, let's take a quick look at Chad itself. It's the fifth largest country in the north of Africa and is landlocked, meaning none of it at any point touches the sea. It is surrounded by Libya to the north, Sudan to the east, Central African Republic to the south, Niger, Cameroon and Nigeria to the west. It was a former colony of France that gained its independence in 1960 and that's really when the troubles started. Since 1960, there have been constant civil wars in Chad between the Muslims in the north and the Christians in the south. Whenever one would gain power, the other would raise an insurrection to counter it. These blows went back and forth for many years, and both Libya and France became involved multiple times until everything kind of stabilised around 1990. In 1996, Idris Deby was elected the first president as a result of democracy. While some semblance of peace had come at last, it was very fragile. Smaller attacks from opposing groups led to yet another rebellion in 1998 when the MDJT led a full-scale offensive in the north with various other smaller groups joining in. The fighting continued well into the early 2000s until the recently re-elected Debbie set about creating peace accords in 2003. On the outside, this seemed fantastic as it could help end the wars, right? Well, yes, temporarily, but it wasn't all as great as it looked. Debbie's government was extremely corrupt and repressive, and seemingly caused many human rights violations on the daily. This all came to a head when a conflict in the Darfur region of Sudan leaked into Chad in the same year. Chad's rebels had also uh, gained weapons and assistance from the government of Sudan, which they used to launch an attack on N'Djamena, the capital of Chad. Many of the rebels who fought against Debbie were previous allies of his, all of which accused him of corruption. This assault unfortunately failed and they were repelled. The government of Chad cut ties with Sudan's official government due to their role. In August 2007, reforms were promised, but they were extremely slow to be implemented. Meanwhile, many civilians were arrested and unjustly punished in the meantime while the search for the rebels continued. And by this time, there were almost 420,000 people living in camps due to the fighting. And this only increased when more people uh, arrived from Sudan when their own civil war continued. Eventually, in 2010, a peace treaty was signed between Chad and Sudan to help bring harmony between the two nations once again, resulting in more open borders, and this also helped any of the rebels from Sudan return home. Thank you for watching today's video. If you want to hear more Bites of History, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you'll never miss a new upload.